Hello everybody, so I don't normally do videos like this, uh, I, I just don't, there's no, there's not a series of tutorials and things that I do, uh, editing and all that, but I've been messing with this beta uh, for Photoshop the last couple days. I probably, it, it, when it does come out all the way, I'll probably use it to help clean things up. So sometimes you'll do a shoot and there'll be items in the photograph that you have to paint out. Uh, it can be very time consuming and this tool is probably going to help a lot. However, there are some things that it does that is really interesting. So let's um, let's get a picture here of our uh, lovely little mama major. There she is. Anyway, so this is a photo shoot I did last year, senior shoot. And so let's say, for instance, this photo was taken vertically. But uh, for whatever reason, I want to add something to the left side, but I don't have a lot of space. Um, bear with me. Sometimes this doesn't work properly, but we're gonna we're gonna go through this live and together. So let's say I want to expand the photo. So first, I'm expanding the canvas or the section of the photo. Nothing else has happened yet. So I want to tell the software to take this space and this space, and using uh, AI software it's going to take a look at my image as a whole see what it can do to extend the photo to the left and right side and it's going to search its database to find images that can be used to extend the photo <laughs> he said extend <laughs> now the first couple times i did this uh i was actually really impressed because it astounds me some of the things that software can do these days. Now, some people are going to freak out and like, Oh my God, everything's going to be fake. <laughs> We're all going to die. <laughs> We're not going to be able to know what's real. And uh, Yes, that's probably true. Although the software does limit you. You can't just do a bunch of weird, crazy stuff. But let's see how this does. So I've selected these two corners of the image. I'm going to go down here and click a button that says generate fill. So basically, I'm going to just hit the button. So what it's going to do, it's going to scan the image and try to fill in the blanks, so to speak. So let's see what it does. And it doesn't always do it perfectly, but we'll see. We're going to we're going to walk through this together. And I just I found this so ridiculous that I wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> so let's see what it does. And so what, what it's going to do is going to give you three options. Once it's done analyzing the image, you'll have option one, two, and three, and you can you can switch between. All right, here we go. Oh, there we go. So just just to let you know, this photo that I pulled, this is the photo right here. It has nothing, nothing else on this side. Like this is the end of the photo on each edge. So the software has gone in and using uh, artificial intelligence has filled in the gaps of the photo it, it matched the color it matched the shadows it matched even the out of focus uh, it kind of judges based on like how far back the out of focus begins but is that ridiculous or what so here check this out so it also has three options over here you see three little icons I can click this one and see I didn't like that first one uh, let's say I wanted this one better okay let's do that one or maybe this one better that one looks a little wonky. Look, see, you go. This is where sometimes it doesn't do things properly. <laughs> but this one looks pretty good, and so does this one. Now, it's going to depend on your photo. Obviously, the more uh, plain background you have, the less information you have for the software to gather from, the worse the image is potentially going to look. But let's do something else. Let's say like um, I shot this photo and for whatever reason, I really liked the background or I need it for something. And uh, I, I could take the time to paint her out. And I've done this before in my professional career. It is doable, but it is very tedious. So sorry, Julia, I love you to bits, but we are going to just basically take you out of this photograph. So let's do a very rough outline on Mama Major. And sorry, Marissa, I'm gonna get rid of your child. La 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 bye Julia you are going away and again this also depends on the background and what you've got you know it works really well uh, with outdoor photos I've, I've noticed stuff indoors like studio it doesn't always work great and there we go she is gone and I can go through a couple of different uh, variations I mean it even took out her shadows of her feet <laughs> down <at> the bottom <laughs> now keep in mind this image None of this here on the left and right existed. 
um, in the original photo. Like here's where the boundaries of the original photo were. I extended the background and then I got rid of the girl. <laughs> so, so let's see. Let now here's where the things get kind of weird. So let's let's introduce something new. So let's bring Julia back because she's nice and we like her. So let's say uh, I wanted to have some friends for Julia. So let's let's get this area right here and let's say um, oh I don't know let's give Julia a, a bunny. Let's see a stew rabbit. So uh, I'm going to basically I'm selecting the area of the photo that I want to include a rabbit. So it's going to search through its library, analyze the background, the colors, and all that, and it's going to bring in examples of rabbits that it has created using artificial intelligence searching their database now this is where it gets funky because most of the time these things don't look great oh there we go see that one doesn't look too bad look now julia has a little bunny friend so there's a bunny and you've got a couple to choose from actually that one looks a little bit better and then we've got oh Oh, that's no ordinary rabbit. That rabbit's got a vicious street a mile wide. It's a killer. Look. <laughs> there we go. We'll give her the creepy one. Actually, I know Julie likes ducks. Julie, let me give you a duck. Let's give you a duck. Let's do duck. Duck. Oh, hold on. Wearing hat. Let's try that. Let's just go for something weird. And that's a little inside joke for her. <laughs> if she sees this, she may giggle. Oh, wow. <laughs> And you never know what you're going to get. It's definitely like a Forrest Gump box of chocolate scenario. So let's see what the other ducks wearing hats would have been. Oh, that's not wearing a hat. Boo, it's boring. Oh, there we go. No, I like the first one better. <laughs> that one seems to match better. Okay, so now she has a duck and a bunny. Let's add something else. Classic pickup truck. Let's see if we can put an old pickup truck in the background. Now, granted, the bunny and the duck are ridiculous examples, but... Let's see. Oh, there you go. There's one pickup. Eh, it looks okay. It doesn't look great. How about a pink one? There we go. You can do a pink truck and a slightly different truck. But, I mean, if you were to sit there and look... I mean, let's get rid of the bunny and the duck because they're kind of ridiculous. If you were to sit there, this would be like, okay, yeah, somebody just took a picture of their driveway. However, if you don't like the examples it gives you, you can also just click regenerate and it's going to pull in three new, three new examples. And that's funny because I did say classic, didn't I? I guess that could be considered a classic in a few years, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't look very classic to me. Let's see what it's going to do. <laughs> Sorry, Julia. I just decided to pick your pick apart your pictures because it was fun. Okay, that's not very classic. Although, I do like uh, the color. The color's nice. But if I were just to show you this photo, you probably wouldn't think much of it. You'd probably like, okay, so what? There's a picture of a girl uh, in a driveway. Uh, and here, I'll show you another example. Let's bring in another photo. Let's see, let's see, let's let's do this one. <laughs> let's do this one. Okay, so there's a picture of her eating grass just for fun. Let's just, we're, we won't get rid of everything. We'll just go here. And let's say we wanted her to be doing this kind of out in the mountains. Mo let's see, mountains, mountains and trees. Let's see if I can do multiple terms, multiple words. So, hopefully we'll see how well this works. So, Julia is eating grass in her family's yard, but let's see, we, let's make her eat grass in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> oh, okay, that's interesting. It didn't really, that's, that's different. Uh, it doesn't look bad. Okay, let's go for the next selection. Oh, okay, she's eating grass in the Costa Rican mountains, it looks like it. And... Let me zoom in a little bit. That might help. That one doesn't look too bad. Okay, but I'm not too crazy about those. Let's see what else it can come up with. Now, notice the interesting thing is that it's... I didn't grab this section here in between the grass behind her and underneath her legs. So it is taking this part of the original image into account for the stuff that it's looking for. Because obviously, if they had another mountain scene and then just random shrubs and trees underneath her legs, it would look weird. So there's that one there. That's okay. Uh, that one's kind of funky. I don't like the way some of this stuff looks a little off. Like here's a fence post, I guess. I'm not sure what the heck that is, but that looks a little weird. So I'm not liking that one. How about this one? Oh, Julia has some friends. <laughs> They're watching her eat the grass. 
Okay, so let's do this. Let's not go for mountains. Let's just do something. To, let's see, uh, beach. Beach, uh, tropical beach. Tropical beach. All right, Julia, I'm gonna put you on the beach. I mean, you're, you're gonna be in the grass here, but the background should blend into a beach. So let's see, where, where in the world is it gonna put Julia? This is like a fun game. Maybe I should do this every week. Where's Julia now? And, oh my God, that looks kind of terrible. <laughs> That's not very good. Again, this is still in beta, so it's not picture perfect. Ah, that's a little better. Maybe she went on vacation and just decided she, you know, wanted some grass with her brunch. And, yeah, that one's not great. Okay, let's do it again. Let's generate it again. Now, keep in mind, it's going to... The quality of the image is going to be determined on what it has to work with. So, obviously, you know, it's going to need to blend the foreground with the background. Oh my gosh, what the heck is this? <laughs> it is a wooden bird. I'm not sure what happened there. That tree got cut off. Wow, this is like devastation. What did you do to the area, Julia? Let's let's do it on both sides. And let's see what happens. First, I'm going to extend the background. So I realized that there's a fence behind her. So if I started adding mountains in the fence, it probably would look a bit funky. So let's help the photo. So this is where you have to kind of think about the process of what you're going to do. So let's just generate fill that area. So it's going to extend the background. So she'll have a nice base to work off of. Kind of like we did with the one before where she was eating the grass because she was hungry. There we go. That's actually really good. Uh, what are the other options? That one, this one, and this one. Uh, we'll leave this one because I want to include more trees and we'll see what it's going to do. So now that we've extended the background, let's do what we did before and let's basically say we like Julia in the grass. She's sitting pretty. Whoops. I'll have to fix that later. She looks like a cone head. Let's get rid of that. Now that we've got the background behind her selected, let's do... What did I say? Let's do mountains first. Mountains in the woods. Let's do that. Let's see what it does. Let's see. And oh my God, that is lovely. What the heck happened? Okay, so that's how it's going to be. Well, there you go. There goes to show you that sometimes the software doesn't work. Oh my God, that is awesome. That is the best manipulation I've ever done. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Sorry. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Oops. Let's get rid of you. See, here we go. We're learning. So I guess I just need to do a better job at not butchering the cutout around her. And who knows, maybe I'm the only one that finds this hilarious and interesting. Oh, there we go. See, now she's on the side of the road. She decided to take a selfie of herself. Of her, of herself? Selfie of herself? Whatever. That one looks pretty good, too. And there you go. Okay, so let's add a friend for her. I know I'm on the animal theme. Let's give her a llama. Why not? Tina, you fat lard, come get some dinner. Julia needs a llama. Is that how you spell llama? I think so. Llama. All right, Julia. I'm going to give you a pet. You're going to name him George. George the llama. Or Leroy. Oh, Leroy! Leroy the llama. That's better. If you ever get a llama, name him Leroy. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, oh, eh, it's not too bad. Okay, let's go. Next one. That one's a little better. Ah, that's a better one. Okay, so let's get. Let's see. Oh, let's try this. I'm gonna include part of her. Actually, yes. I'm gonna see what it's gonna do. So I'm gonna give her another llama because she needs more than one llama. Every girl needs at least two llamas in her life. This is me playing with software. This is so at night when I can't sleep. I mean, I don't do, I don't add llamas to pictures, but oh my God. Yes. So they'll say, this is some of the things. <laughs> yes. My self-esteem is so high. So, okay. So since I included her in the selection, it is trying to find a replacement for, oh my God. Yes. For her face. And it doesn't do that very well just yet. Vanessa loves you. She doesn't care what you low. Oh, do you like what you see? No. You look like an avocado. Had sex with an older, more disgusting avocado. Yeah. 
So I was curious if it was going to uh, ignore her face and just put the llama behind her. And it sort of did, but it jacked her up genetically really bad. That is priceless. Oh my god, I love that. And that llama, what the heck? What is up with this llama? That llama, oh my god. What is wrong with this thing? Clearly, AI is not going to take over and completely make everything. Wow, this, look at this thing. I have both type one and two diabetes. Ow! Oh, that's all the diabetes. Right, yeah, you got them all. If you find a type three, let us know. I don't even want to know what the heck that is. That is amazing. Actually, this llama looks funky too, unless that's what they look like and I'm just not familiar. I've never seen llamas that look like that. Oh my god, okay, no, let's get rid of the llama. Nope, sorry. Let's do, um, what did I say last time, beach? Let's do something different. Let's do parking lot. I don't know. Why not? Let's see what it does. I know this is a long video, I'm sorry. I just, I wanted to play with this in real time to show you how awesome it can be and how horribly horrific and hilarious it can be as well. And I promise I'm not going to do this to all of your children's photos. <laughs> she is just sitting in a parking lot. Maybe she's a valet and she decided to take a break. Okay. Actually, that looks that looks pretty good. Considering, again, if you were just to see this, you're like, okay, yeah, it's a picture of a girl uh, sitting in a parking lot. Okay, what else can we come up with? Um, amusement park? Sure, why not? That is creepy. All right, next picture. Uh, I have a pretty speedy com computer. Wow, that looks awful. Oh, how about this? Bamboo. I'm going to see if it'll dump her in like a bamboo forest or something. Let's find out. So it's taking the space around her and making sure that it blends in with a gap. Now, the funny thing is that this image behind her is probably something that it generated using other pieces of photography. So it's not necessarily taking an existing photo and putting it behind her it's probably taking elements of other photos and like say it's looking for pictures of bamboo that work in the color of this photograph and then it's looking for a background that fits the color behind her because remember oops sorry if you remember it's basically like the edges around here are from the original photo so it's trying to find something that's going to match now granted you can tell that there's a huge gap right conveniently behind her but uh it's still really interesting okay one more um what else can we do okay i'm gonna do something that's totally gonna throw it off i don't know what this is gonna do but i'm gonna put dogs oh my god lord please forgive me let's see what really creepy contact it's going to load into this section i'm sorry julia I really am, but you're probably laughing at this. No, <laughs> okay, well that's not that's not as horrific as I was thinking it was gonna be. So it's basically just throwing some random dogs behind her. Oh, she has friends here. Let's do this. Let's go to Facebook. I'm just going to pull a photo. Actually, let's just go. Let's go to Julia's Facebook, and we'll just grab a picture that she has. Um. This is just a picture that she has of just her in a background. So let's do what I did before. Oh, that gave her a road. That's actually kind of cool. So let's say uh, we don't like the sky. And let's just say we wanted more clouds or we just, I don't know, we just didn't like the clouds on that day. Now, again, this is kind of one of those things where it gets it gets into the territory of, oh, well, then, you know, things aren't authentic. Um, I don't know what people will want to use this for. Like I said before, I will probably use it to help remove things I don't want in the photograph without completely going over the... I, I don't really over-process my images at all just because I'm not really crazy to, about doing that. But I just thought this feature was really interesting. I was laughing last night, which I had to do it very quietly because technically it wasn't last night. It was like at 3, 4 in the morning this morning uh, at some of the things it would come up with because, oh my God, what the heck? <laughs> what is this? Yes. So it will sometimes throw in things from <laughs> whatever was in the image before. I have no idea what that is. It looks like a... Looks like a breadstick or a bat. I don't know. 
Let's do one more thing. Um, I know I added cars, I added animals. No. Fire, yeah, let's do a fire truck. Here you go. Let's just give Julia a fire truck. She's happy because the firemen came and put out a fire uh, in the field, which I will add in just a second. <laughs> That looks, that's more of an, oh my god, what's going on here? <laughs> I don't know what happened to that thing. Okay, we'll leave that one there. And then Julia's happy because they put this fire out. Or maybe they came to control the fire here. So let's do, I don't know, um, forest fire. <laughs> that's, a little more, that's a little morbid. But Julia is happy because they came to make sure that fire is turned out. Hey, I can't stop! There's a cliff! Ah! And your family screaming, Oh my god, we're burning alive! No, I can't feel my legs! And the medic gets out and says, Oh my god! New guy's in the corner puking his guts out. All because you want to save a couple extra pennies. <laughs> anyway, I'm done with that. I just wanted to show you guys some of the weird things that sometimes the software can do. Uh, is it great all the time? No. Uh, is it scary that this stuff can, can happen and work? Yes. Um, for random stuff, for social media, uh, this could be a really interesting tool because you could essentially just kind of go in and add in some really bizarre features. Now, you do have to have... Um, a uh, you have to have a uh, subscription to Photoshop in order to download the beta. You can look up online how to do that. I, I don't know, people would mess with Photoshop anyway, but I just thought this was funny. And I'm gonna give Julia a duck because she likes ducks. There's your duck, Julia. Actually, no, let's give you a better one. Nope, that one doesn't look good. There you go. And if I had the time, I'd, I'd cut out a little hat, a little mama major hat, and put it on the duck so she can have a a major duck problem. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I know this was really bizarre and rambly, but uh, I, ha I have the day off, so I'm just messing around with software. So, love you guys. Talk to you later. Sorry, Julia. I love you. Bye. <laughs>